You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with small diameter or mini dental implants. With us, we have an expert on the topic, Dr. James Hardy. Dr. Hardy, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. I'm glad to be here. Excited about this opportunity. All right, great. Now, I know you brought a lot of photos, so we'll get to as many of those as possible. Now, for people that don't know your practice, because I know you do more than just implant dentistry, but who's the typical mini dental implant patient you see? The typical patient is a patient that comes in and he has had problems with bad breath, had problems with loose teeth, had problems with uh, people telling him, his family, his wife might have said that, I want you to get something done because at night your gums have been bleeding and you have issues with breath. That's a typical patient. He's heading for a denture. That patient don't know what his options are. He wants to, he comes in to see us and he says, what can you do for me? But they don't want dentures. I mean, the people that go to you are trying to avoid dentures. They don't want dentures. Okay. Those people don't want dentures. They want something other than a denture because their parents had dentures and they don't want to go there. They've seen what that do to them. So they're saying, doc, what can you do for us other than a denture. What can you do for me other than wearing a denture? So it's hard to get the people in that second group. They are a denture patients. They have dentures. They think, think they don't need to go to the dentist because I don't have any teeth. So there is nothing that they can do for me. But those patients don't know what we have to offer. They have suffered and gotten by with what they have. And they just say there is no hope. That patient is the one that we need to see. There are millions of those out there that have dentures. In Raleigh, Lewisburg area, you have about 10 times the people that have dentures that could fill up RBC Stadium. That's who we have with dentures. Really? So, I mean, there's like tens of thousands of people wearing an upper lower denture where you are? There are tens of thousands, absolutely. We see people every day that have dentures. Uh, their parents and their grandparents have dentures. And some of them think that that's their only hope because that's the way things happen. My parent has dentures and my family has dentures, so I'm gonna have a denture. But they really don't want it. They just think that that's the only option that they have. For these denture wearers, we can do a number of different things. We can put in two teeth, two implants that let their teeth snap in with a denture, makes it more stable, or we can move toward four or more teeth that makes it even more locked in, make it more teeth that stayed in more permanent. Okay. And those people have an excellent time enjoying their food and a better quality of life. So if it's so good, if dental implants, mini implants are so good, why aren't they all doing it? Why aren't all these dentures coming in to get it done? Well, Randy, they don't come in because they have dentures. They don't think they need to go to the dentist. There is no reason for them to come in and they feel like that's their last time they have to go to the dentist because they got dentures. Okay. So they don't know their options. They don't know their options. They have no idea what's offered now or what the new things that are out there for them to make them better. Another reason why these people don't come in, let's look at their life before their dentures wears. They went through all this pain. They had a root canal that fell. They had loose teeth that had to come out. They did all these things and then they ended up with needing a denture. So why would they ever want to come see me? At they don't this want point? to come back to the dentist. That's right. They Do you ever hear that? Back. Like, no offense, Dr. Hardy, but I just don't like the dentist. I hear it all the time. Most probably eight out of 10 people wish they didn't have to go to the dentist. How old can you be to, to get uh, a brand new set of teeth supported by dental implants? You can be up to in the 90s if you, if you have to. We treat people from teenagers in their 20s if they have to up, to, up to 100 years old. We've got a, one of my oldest patients was 95. Why would a 95 year old want to do this? because she wanted to be able to eat. She wanted to okay. go out to the restaurant. She, she had a sister that was 92. They would go out together and she would be embarrassed when she had lunch and dinner engagements and parties when they have the grandkids. They want to go out and eat with them. They want to enjoy these times of their lives. So they still need teeth and they want to eat. Now, when you do this procedure, a lot of pre-planning first. 
but on the day of the procedure, they could literally walk in. That's what you told me. They could walk in without teeth and walk out with teeth. They really? absolutely can. They can walk in that day, and we do this on a regular basis every week. They walk in without teeth, and they walk out with teeth that they can function, they can eat with, and they can smile. How soon can they eat? They can eat that, that night? That night, absolutely. Really? They absolutely do. And they come back, when we see them in a day or two, and they come back and they're so excited, they are so excited that they ate a steak, or they ate a, a salad, or they would even ate carrots or some nuts, ate an apple that they haven't done in 30 now, years. you like mini implants, you also do regular implants, but mini implants, you say, are, are, are almost half the cost. They're smaller. I've had experts on the program that say, Randy, mini implants are too small. What is your response to that? Well, they don't work, they say. You know, Randy, that's really not true anymore. That's the past thinking. Dental mini implants are uh, just as well. We've had studies done, research done by Dr. Shackens. There have been over 600 cases that he did, and the results were about 94% successful just similar to the regular implants. So these have been proven to be just as well, just as good an opportunity. Also less invasive, more affordable. The patient can eat less surgical procedures. It's one of the options that we offer our patients that they really enjoy. And we've got hundreds of them now that are enjoying that many implants. Now back to the dentures for just a second. Yes. Isn't it true if you've been wearing a denture for like 20 years, you can't do this because you don't have enough bone? Oh, no, that's not true. Uh, people that have been wearing dentures for 20 years, we can do a lot for them because the mini implant is smaller, a smaller diameter. We're able to put fix that in into the gums and bone where they have it and make them have a happier time, be able to eat more of what they want to eat. So no, you can, we see a lot of people that have been wearing dentures 20, 30, 40 years, and we still do a service for them. I had this lady that came in. She asked me a lot of questions like, Dr. Hardy, can you do this? Am I a candidate? Am I going to really be able to eat with what you are going to be doing for me? She was a denture wearer. She was a denture wearer. And I said, yes, absolutely. This lady, once we got started, once we finished her case, she came back and hugged me and cried. This wow. lady came back and said that I'm going to want you to see my sister because she's got the same problem. My, my sister waited for me to finish. Now I'm finished. She said, look, I want you to fix my family. And it changed her life because she was able to go out and do some public speaking that she had been trying to do for years. Now she's able to go out and get that job she wanted. Now she's able to go out and help the folks that she wanted to help in the public speaking. And now she's also going to help her family. We were able to do that for her, but also that transcended to other members of the family. That's what we can do for those kind of people. So with her, all we did was had a brand new set of teeth, upper and lower. They locked in. She had a beautiful smile. She wanted the white Hollywood smile. And now okay. she's excellent, happy with what she has. Now, do they tell you eating stories all the time? Like they say, Doc, are you sure I can eat this? Or are you sure I can eat that? Absolutely. They tell us they want to, they got things that they want to eat. They want to eat apples. They want to be able to eat corn on the cob. They want to eat peanuts or a steak. A steak is one of the top items. Okay. And they're able to eat all of those things. At first, they have to take it easy, though. They take it, yes, they take it easy, they take it slow, but as time go on, they're able to eat, and they come back, and they're so excited. Life-changing for them. Okay, good. You brought some photos. What are we looking at? Randy, this, this gentleman right here, he came to see me, and he came because he had bleeding gums. He couldn't eat, loose teeth, and he wanted to get this replaced, but he didn't know what his option were. He said to me, Doc, I don't want a denture. He said, I don't want to go there because my dad had that. What else can you do for me? And so what we did is said, took the CT scan, we looked at his bone, because he was worried that he didn't have enough bone left because he had a lot of gum disease. So for him, we were able to get him a brand new set of teeth that don't come out. 
that locks in. And that's what he wanted. Now he can smile. Now he can eat that corn on the cob. Now he can kiss his wife. But take a look at this after. Very nice. You can see that he has a nice smile. He has a beautiful set of teeth that are there that don't come out, that are locked in. And now he is much more happier because he can eat and enjoy his life and go out to dinner with his wife. Now, when they look at that mirror, like they get their new teeth, and they look at their mirror for the first time. You say it's very emotional for many of these people. It is. Um, when he looked at the mirror, he almost broke down and cried. His wife, when she saw him the first time, she said, is that my honey? She had a little <laughs> name that she would call him, but she was so excited. Both of them would come every time, and that was exciting to see how he was so emotional. He hugged us. He's like, my life has changed. As a matter of fact, I run into this guy at a football game. He was at the homecoming of St. Augustine University where he met his wife and he was enjoying his smile. He told his wife, actually his sister was with him. He said, that's the dentist that you need to see because that's who did my teeth. And that's what's exciting. And, and me and him had a good time, but it was exciting to see somebody with that kind of attitude once he's changed his life and got a better uh, teeth to work with. Now you say it's more than just teeth. I mean, you th look, you're a dentist, of course. It doesn't surprise me to hear that you think it's like one of the most important things. How important yeah. is it? Teeth are so important. You look at a situation, you take Hollywood. Okay. When they, when they want to make a person look bad, they take out one of the teeth. Yeah. And, and when they want somebody to look homeless, you might have one or two teeth missing. So they, yeah. people okay. with bad teeth, they look like they uh, economic, like they're poor. They're poor. They look like they don't, uh, you know, they look like they're, they're dirty. They, they look like you don't want to be with them. Look like something is wrong. So you think they're, because I mean, we talked in the green room, mm -hmm. people with bad teeth are judged. That's right. You say they're not poor, the ones that come to your practice. Absolutely they are not. One of the things that happen is these people, you don't even know that their teeth that bad because they have a way that they've been hiding it for years. They don't smile. I had a lady that come in, she said, Dr. Hardy, I haven't smiled in 36 years. And I was like, are you kidding? She said, no, because my teeth have been so bad and I haven't enjoyed myself. I have no pictures where I was smiling. I didn't want to smile. So that is the thing that we look at, people that change their life. Teeth do that to them. They get better jobs. They have more. Because they, their self-confidence goes up. Self-confidence goes up. I, I had a lady last week. She said, I'm on a job. I see public people every day. But my confidence is down because my front tooth is broken off and I need some help. I want an implant. She needs to be helped because she needs her job, first of all. But she said, look, I have low self-confidence. I don't want to see anybody. I don't want to go out. My husband said, I don't want to go out anymore. So he actually brought her, which is the other way around most of the time. He wanted her to come see us. He got tired of the complaints that she had of being in pain, but she was afraid. The fear factor is another big part of that. Yeah. People don't want to go to the dentist because they think dentists going to be painful and hurt. But we tell them that first of all, we listen, we make sure there's no pain, we make sure you're comfortable. That's part of our So philosophy. a lot of these people are sedation, right? A lot of, absolutely. I mean, almost everybody gets sedation. Almost everybody gets sedation if they need to. Some people say, I don't need it. But if they need any kind of sedation, you take that gentleman there, he, he had sedation. He woke up, it was all over. He had beautiful teeth. Uh, a lot of well, people- Well, that seems like the only way to go. Well, it's one of the only ways to go because most people don't want to know that what we're doing. Like we said. Just go in there and relax. Go in there, relax. We have our music playing. I have oldies and goodies playing. I have a okay. good time. Yes. <laughs> okay. And, and, and I, believe it or not, the young folk that come to see us, they like the oldies and goodies because they said, my dad played this music. We need to stay with it. I had classical playing one time, which is okay, but people like this and they said, look, you know what? I enjoy coming to the dentist. <laughs> which is unbelievable, that, but that's the experience we give them. We want them to have a good time, but we also want them to have a good result. That's the okay. number one. The good end product is the number one thing that we want them to have. Go back to your question about how important a smile is. Let me give you an example. You got two sisters, one with a beautiful smile, nice teeth. The other one may have a gap in the mouth. 
And there's one that like to smile, and it may be the one that has the gap, but the other one doesn't. Who do you think might get the job? I guess the, the one, one that looks happier. Absolutely, the one that's happy and confident. People want happy, confident people around them as they work every day. They make the job go better, the relationship with their clients go better, because they want somebody that uptone. And that's what I want in my office as well. And that's who we have at the okay. office. People come to my office, they said, I enjoy your staff because they listen to me and they're happy. You feel like you got a happy office. And that's the requirement we have. It's showtime, you gotta be happy uh, when you come there. And that's the way we have. We have fun every day. Now, now let's talk about gum disease. You know, the bleeding gums, the bad breath, the loose teeth. If your gums are bad, you cannot do this? I mean, are you, can, your gums won't hold the implants? How oh, does that work? Oh, Randy, we see patients all the time that have gum disease, they have uh, bone loss, but we have methods for that because when we remove these infected teeth, the gum disease go away, we have healed gums, and then we put the implants in, and implants also help maintain bone. So we got bone that's maintained, the infected gums are gone, and we have a nice, healthy smile. Nice, nice healed gums. Going back to that guy, he could eat whatever he wants. His gums are in good shape. He can eat and smile. He has, um, he's enjoying life right now. Now let me show you this next patient. Now this guy represents a bunch of people. Wow. He, he came to see us and he, he didn't want dentures. He told me when he first talked to me, he said, I don't want my teeth to be able to come out. But he'd had a lot of gum disease. He had a lot of bone loss. We were talking about bone loss and the bleeding gums. This is a typical patient. That's got to be unusual, though, when I see that. Well, it is unusual, but it's not because we see that every day. We see people like this all over the country. You know, you, you don't see them smile. That's why you don't see it in public. They don't smile. They've learned how to hide it. This guy's a professional. He works with the public, but they don't know that it's like this inside his mouth. He thought, so they don't smile, so people think like they're grumpy or bad mood or a tough guy. That's right. And this they, is men and women have the same situation. Have the same situation. Okay. People might think he's grumpy, but he's not. He wants to be able to smile. He wants to be able to do more at his job to have a better performance because he didn't perform as well because people thought he was a little grumpy. He see the public coming in every day. Now, what he asked me is, can you help me? And my answer was, once we saw the CT scan is, yes, we can help you. Now, he said this, I don't want my teeth coming out. I want to be able to put some teeth locked in that don't come out. He thought he didn't have enough bone. And again, we see this all the time. But you know what? Once we looked at it, he had enough bone. We were able to put in upper and lower fixed teeth that don't come out. He's smiling there. He has a, a opportunity to see his customers and clients. And if you look at that smile and compare that to what he, where he was, now he opens. Before, he didn't ever open his mouth. And they, they as a matter of fact, and in, in where he works, they said that he's doing so much better and he offered to um, bring me and take me to a football game, give me season <laughs> tickets because of what we've done for him. That's exciting. That's why we do what we do. Now he's like me and you. He, he doesn't have to hide his teeth. He can just do what he normally do. He can just brush them. He don't even have to worry about them coming out because that was one of his other problems. He had one or two was just about to fall out and he was worried about losing it in his sleep. This patient now is so excited that he doesn't have to worry about teeth. He can wear them, he can do whatever he wants to and eat what he wants to. So for people that go to you, and you talked at the beginning of the show, the two categories of the mini implant patients, those people that have teeth, but you can't save them and they have to be extracted. Yes. And they have an option, dentures or new teeth with mini implants. And then you have the denture wear. So when they're in your office, what are their options when it comes to mini implants? Like what do you, what do you offer them? So with many implants, what we do is we give them four or six mini implants that we place. We give them a full set of teeth that can snap in and be firm and they can eat what they want. Okay. And then we give them six at the tops 
so they can snap in and they have a set that they can wear and they can eat what they've been wanting to eat all the time, that the corn on the cob, that steak, or that carrot, that salad. These okay. are the things that they can eat. And they are so excited about that. It's one of the things that make us excited to come to work. These people have changed their lives because of what we can do for them. Now the next level up is what everybody wants, the teeth that don't come out, like this gentleman did. He wanted teeth that stayed in. What we do is we do four or six regular implants or minis and we put them in. They don't come out. They are secure. They, you can eat anything you want. Same thing in the upper, six or eight. They are secure. They are stable. They don't come out. They are permanent and the patients love them. This is their sec third set of teeth, actually. Okay, this third is what set it of does. Teeth. That's right. That's the way to look at it. You got a third set of teeth. Most people at this stage of the life tell me, Doc, I've got the chance now that I can have a good set of teeth. I want to be able to be happy with eating. I don't want to worry about it. I've been waiting all my life to smile. I, I had a lady say, I've been waiting. Uh, can you imagine waiting all your life to smile? You've lost some of the time that you could have been. Wow. There are people now that if they come in to see us, they can change that right now. A lot of these people are flying in or traveling great distances to see you. Is that right? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I got a lady that called me just this week. She said, and I had sort of forgotten that she wanted to see us. She came a few months ago and she said, I saw somebody that you get fixed in with many implants and I liked what you did and I want to see you. As we talked and I said, okay, well, you can come back next week. She said, no, I can't come back next week. I said, why? Because I live in Pennsylvania. We're in North Carolina. I said, but you still want to come that far? You're going to fly? She said, I'm going to fly in from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to see you guys. Well, it's been some months, so I had forgot about it. She called me last week and said, look, I'm ready. Ready to do she it. She ready to do it. She wants to fly in from, as a matter of fact, she's coming to start next week to get started. We've already set it up. My office told me today. So I had another guy. He was three hours away. And actually, when, I was, when we talked to him on the phone, I said, where are you? He said, I'm in South Carolina. I said, you went away. He said, yeah, but I'm still coming. I'll be there in two and a half, three hours. What was his problem? His problem was he had teeth that were loose and dentures that he couldn't wear. He'd had three sets of dentures. He couldn't wear any of them. And he said, can you help me? Because I can't eat, I can't smile. I work with the public, I'm in a mess. So with him, he comes in and one day, we give him a brand new set of teeth, upper and lower. And he's been having a ball ever since. He's been enjoying himself. He's actually able, he got another job. He got a contract with a larger company and he's a mechanic. And he enjoys what he's doing. All now. because of his teeth? He, <laughs> or self-confidence, The I confidence guess. got him this new contract. Because before, he was just in his mechanic shop. He didn't go out. But once he got his teeth, can smile, he can eat, he feels better too. You think about it, when you can chew, you can digest, digest your food. He had issues with digestion. Now he can do it and chew and eat. It makes a big difference. Just with teeth, it's changed his life that much. Now we have to mention, Medicaid doesn't cover this, Medicare doesn't cover this, even the best dental insurance only covers like practically nothing for yes. many implants. Yes, but Randy, you know, most insurance don't cover it, but we do financing every day. It's, it's part of what we do. Most patients that come in, they ask us about how to, they're worried about how to be able to pay for it. And we have third party companies that if they have decent credit, they get it covered with financing. So you don't carry it, but you have lenders that will lend for dental procedures. Absolutely. And really people are doing this a lot. Absolutely. Okay. Probably a large percentage of these folks are getting it uh, covered with lenders that lend just for that. They specialize in lending for dental procedures. And it's huge for people to be able to have afford to do that. They have monthly payments, make it more affordable. And they don't have to worry about that huge amount right up front. They can spread it out over time with these lenders. And it works excellent. It's one of the best things we got going actually. And these folks are able to come in and afford to get these many dental implants to get new set of teeth up and laws, be able to eat, and they're able to do what they thought they couldn't because they didn't know. Okay. We invite them to come and see. Now we have to mention, I guess the way you do it at your center, we have about two minutes left, is normally implants are done 
many implants. You go to one guy that does the surgery, another doctor that puts the teeth on top, maybe somewhere else for the imaging. I guess you guys do it all right there under one roof. We do it all right there under one roof. We decided that that's what we wanted to do. We've been doing surgery for many years, the dental surgery part. We do the restorative part of it. We've got lots of experience in doing both all the procedures right there in our office. And people like it because they don't have to go to one place to another one to try to get it done. One roof. We got a guy, story. He called me this week and I said, look, uh, you, you, he was in Charlotte and he said, look, I'm coming to see you. And I said, well, who referred you? He said, we looked online. We saw what you do. You are all in one shop. And we hear that every day. We're so glad that you do what you do, you and your daughter, in one shop, and they come out happy on the other side. And that's been a plus for the patients. It's a plus for the patients because they don't have to you go You say that place. some people come in and they'll, they think they need all their teeth removed. Mm -hmm. And you save teeth. Absolutely. We have people that come in. Matter of fact, when they come in and call us, they say, I need all my teeth out and I need implants. And one of the things we tell them, let's see you first. That's why we offer a free exam and x-ray consultation, because we want to see what they need and then decide whether or not they need all their teeth out, because we save teeth, too. There are a lot of teeth that we save that and they don't have to have all their teeth out. Just some of them may need to be out, but we make that decision with the patient. And one of the things frustrating for me is they're one of the brands that all they do is take out all the teeth and replace them. But we offer the opportunity to save some teeth because if you take them all out and you snap, put them in fixed, that's expensive. We have options that are not as expensive. Okay. And we have the opportunity to choose for the patient. Okay, good. we're out of time. I wanna thank you for coming on the show. And uh, so if they want to come in, they will see you or one of your daughters or your daughter. Yes. To, th to do the consult. Absolutely. They'll see one of us to do the consult. We sit down with them. We go over everything and from the beginning to the end, what they need, what they want, okay. what they what's best for them. We decide together with the patient and we go all the way through the financing as well. Now, public seminars, you do public. We're, we're out of time, but okay. if they want to know when your next public seminar, they could meet you live. They go to the website. Go to the website. Okay. We do the public dental seminars so that we can educate patients on what implants are, what the opportunities are, what they might need in their mouth. Most public is not sure. They go online, but we tell them directly in those seminars. Good opportunity. Okay. One I, like, on one. I like what you said in the green room. You said, Randy, they come in like it's too good to be true. They still don't believe it. They still don't believe it. That's right. Like they're it's, really going to get a new set of teeth. They still don't believe it. But when we show them and when it's finished up, they still are surprised. But it's like it's a, a too good to be true. But it is true. Okay, we can good. do it. No more dentures. No more dentures. All right. Absolutely. All right, doctor. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Great stuff. Thank you. You've been watching the Wellness Hour News that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour. The leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.